Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here and welcome back to another episode of the Theta SMP server. It has certainly been a while since our previous episode and obviously if you guys watched yesterday's video you would know that. But anyway, I wanted to keep up with the new videos by producing a new Theta episode for you guys today. Hopefully you guys are all excited for it. If you're excited for the return of Theta SMP and tons of my other series on this channel, be sure to leave a like. Let's see, we're going to set a bit of a like goal today, guys. We're going to see if we can go for 20 likes on today's video. If we can hit 20 likes, I will do another Theta SMP episode for you guys tomorrow. That way we can continue to rack up some episodes in this season. I'm really excited. Um, I have not been back to my base in so long, so it feels really good to be back here today. And I just really, today, tomorrow, if we can hit 20 likes, we're going to be doing a lot of work on the bottom portion of our base in tomorrow's episode. But for today, there have been a lot of changes that have happened on the server that I want to go check out with you guys that I'm sure you guys would be equally excited to see in a video. If you guys only have watched my channel in the past, you haven't seen this server in so long long it has been a long time then but for me i've been watching i can't find sounds options where is this video settings am i like am i blind music and sounds turn that up a bit because that we that wasn't on before but if you guys haven't watched any of the other YouTubers on this channel, then you haven't actually seen any of the changes made to the server. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to go and check out all the cool stuff that's been happening on the server. Take a look at what everyone's been working on at spawn and just get all that cool stuff happening. Also, we are in 1.9 on the server now, so we have a lot of new stuff to look at, including these, which I picked for my garden earlier. I decided to plant them when I found a couple that were planted here by another member a couple weeks back, probably when we switched to 1.9. But these are chorus fruit. Now, chorus fruit is is an interesting plant so actually first before we do anything we are just going to split this stack here a bit split that in 32 32 and we're going to split that so we'll just cook up some of this food here that way we can get some more potatoes cooking but chorus fruit which is right here i'm going to show you how it works so let's go up to our ad up to our roof here also if you guys hear any background noise like cars or wind or something i have my windows open in my room right now and that's mainly because it is 82 degrees right now with really high humidity so it's hot so i it's if i close the windows and my door shut i got the headphones on talking into a microphone creating heat from my from my body it gets really hot really quickly so i've just got the windows open but we're going to try out this chorus fruit take a look what it does Look at that. It teleports you around in the vicinity of where you eat the fruit. That is absolutely crazy, and it's such a cool thing that they added. It's a very miscellaneous thing, but you could get out of a lot of situations with it. And I've set up my own little chorus fruit farm over here, where we just we dig these little guys up here, collecting those. That way we can set up more of these in the future. Also, you get these from the end. I should probably mention that. And then what we do is once we have... The chorus flowers, which can be replanted into these stalks here, which it looks like there's one up there. You can hit it at the bottom here, and it'll drop, and you can collect all the different chorus fruit from it. So it's really handy. Nice little farming idea. We're just going to continue to work on growing this chorus. That way we can use it for some teleportation matters in the future. I've got a couple ideas that we can use the chorus fruit for. I think it could be really cool, and hopefully you guys are excited for that as well. Also... I seem to have a lot of skeleton horses in my base since I last recorded. I don't remember if the last time we were on here and there was a video if I had any, but what happened was this area got struck by lightning when it was raining once when we updated to 1.9, and we got a ton of these horses, and they make really cool sounds, and we can have them. Also, Debbie! Debbie, I've missed you so much. How you been, girl? We can hear all these guys moaning and groaning over here, but Debbie is around with us. I missed her so much. It's been a while, Debbie. How you been? Hope you've been good. I've been pretty good. But Debbie, we're going to have to leave you in here for the day because I don't really want to take you into the nether. We're just going to be checking out some stuff. You can stay with your skeleton horse friends. We're going to first, before we head into the nether, because there haven't been many changes in the nether, but we got to get to spawn from there. We're going to check out Sansu's place. He's done a lot of work since the previous episode, so I just wanted to kind of show it off and just highlight stuff because the server... For as much as it hasn't changed, because it's been the same members generally, there's been a lot of cool new expansions and things done on the server that I just want to show you guys. So over here, Sansu has added some platforms in different areas to his treehouse. He's got like brewing stands and all this stuff set up over here. He's got his own skeleton horses and he's got snowmen in boats. Sounds good. Makes, makes perfect sense. <laughs> I might ask if I can take one of those. Those are pretty cool. But if we go through here... 
This is Sansu's room. He's got like stuff in here, which is really nice. And then he's got a nice little balcony taking him out to here. Sansu honestly has a really nice view of the area. He's got my little compound over there that he can see. He's got his big tree and everything. It looks really good. Big props to him for working on this because I am quite a fan, I gotta say. So if we head up here and continue, he's got a random piece of cobble that I don't think is meant to be there. So I'm just going to cut that out for him. He's got his thing here, which gives you haste so he can mine quicker. And then if we head up, you will see that he has built up all the way. He's got little chests in the leaves here where he's just storing stuff. And then we can head inside right here up the ladder. And then in here is all his different like supplies and rooms and things like that. So in here, he's got this part where you can jump back down. He's got his crafting table and you can probably maneuver your way up to the top of the tree if we wanted to. We'll do this right now, just so we can get a really cool view at night. But here's everywhere around us. It looks really nice at nighttime. We got the plains biome over here. We got the spruce forest. We got the uh, roofed forest over here. We got his beacon. We got a little underwater island there that I love. And you've got this little guy over here. That I haven't seen yet. That looks like his little farming area. Also, he's done some cool stuff with the paths. That's one other thing introduced in 1.9 are these paths that you can make on the dirt. I actually kind of want to go check those out quickly because I haven't actually used them myself. One thing that I was suggesting to the members while I was away from YouTube was... What does this say? Destroyed. Oh, this is where Destroyed lives. One thing I was suggesting to the members is taking spawn and remaking it with all these different paths. But I don't think we're going to be doing that all too much. Oh god, what are we up to? Back away. Well, one thing I'm not used to is combat in this version of Minecraft. You have not died yet. Whoop. Get out of here, sucker. I don't want you over here. You can't be near my stuff. Whenever we go near destroyeds, I get really laggy frames, mainly because of all these chickens and animals he has. But once we look away, we got to deal with... We can go check out destroyeds house over here. Guzzle storage area. I honestly... I am quite a fan of destroyed stuff. We can actually quickly sleep. I'm going to ask CM if he wants to sleep. And then we can do that. Or maybe he can log out so I can... I'm... Okay, okay. All right, there we go. Nice. Thank you, CM. We got to head back through the chicken area again. We can just cut through here. Are we done? We're clear. All right, sweet. But yeah, a lot has changed. It's, it's looking good. We have... Oh, what are you up to, my friend? Oh, my. I'm so bad with a bow. It is not even funny. Okay, this guy's going to get set on fire. Oh, God. Whoop. It's really hard to fight them. Oh god, I hit that. No, 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 no. Where are you going, buddy? We keep having to look over there. And it's not good because we can't actually... Here, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna do that. Just to replace all that with me. We could put you like... I don't know, we can put you here. There you go. See, replanted the food. <laughs> We're all good. Let's head back over here. That way we can see some of the other stuff that's been happening on the server. We're going to head over to spawn now because I really, really have happened. Apparently a lot of new buildings have been built. Um, also CM like completely remodeled it, put some foliage and some trees around there. It apparently looks really good and I'm really excited to go and see it. We can also check out some of the changes that have been made in the nether hub. I don't think too many have been made since I've last been on here because once you kind of build the nether hub, you really can't do much with it after that. So I'm sure it looks all good and nice. Alrighty guys, so coming through spawn, I do have to warn you, occasionally at spawn, it tends to get a little bit laggy. Um, this is an issue on my end. Uh, it's a little laggy. It's, it's, it, you, do, you do notice a bit of a frame drop when we go to spawn. So I do apologize. We're going to turn our render distance down for this just so we can have the best frames possible. We have the message board. Nothing changed here. The roads have been really outdone they look so good now great job cm for that spawn not looking all that different pretty much the same ignore the skype message looking the same as as always over here the old chops scrumpy's bakery does he have any food cookies bread all this kind of stuff really nice and if we go across the bridge here i get a little framey over here i don't know why maybe there's something here got this amazing building which is henry and matt's potion shop looks really nice uh if we go downstairs we can buy some potions if you guys ever want to buy potions got splash healing uh regen fire resistance all the potions that you could ever want empty glass bottle 
recycling. Pretty cool. I like that little feature. It's the, it's the little stuff that always impresses me. These are new. What is this? Trident's Soup Shack. Payments, and you can buy soup. What's this? Destroyed in RJ's end, end shop. Oh, I like that they've got the zombie here. That looks really nice. I really... What is... I'm just going to dig this up quickly. I just hope you don't mind. I just want to kind of want to check this out. This is the new purper blocks. So this is a purper pillar. And then we got purper blocks as usual. These are looking... I really like the purple to these. And what are these? I believe these are end bricks. Yes, these are end stone bricks. I, oh, I love all the new nether stuff they've added in 1.9. Really cool. And we have... Das Hun Hut. Uh, can you get... Are there like chickens that roast from up there or something? What is this? This is like chicken farm. There's something over there, but I don't know what this is. It's kind of cool though. So we can head over here, back over to the other parts of spawn. We can take a look and we get that speed boost right there. We're going to go... Should we go right or left? I think we'll go right. And then down here, we have a ton of new stuff. There's trees everywhere, so they've really improved the area. We have H Monkey's Flower Stand as a horse just walks past there. Sansu's Enchanted Bookstore, so you can buy, like, enchantments and stuff to put on your armor and weapons. We've got Rise Food Store, the left hook. <laughs> I don't even know, man. These names are so good, though. So he doesn't actually have anything in stock right now. Rai, you gotta, you gotta fix that. You gotta get your stuff in stock. Oh, God. And we head down here. We get the little island. What? Is, oh, this is the map world. This is the map island. So if you guys want like a really nice high depth view of spawn, that's what our spawn town looks like right now. Oh my God. As an overhead projection, this is looking so freaking good. Hang on. I have to get, I want to get a screenshot of that to possibly use in the thumbnail. What do we have up here? Is this maybe just an outlook or something? I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, it just looks like an area where you can look out into the rest of the world. We can also just jump straight down from here. Looking good. I really... This building looks so cool. Guy, every... I really am upset that I went for so long because the stuff that they've done on the server is just so amazing. Honestly, it's so good. This is the fish shop and shack that's been there for a while. Trident's Rock Store. We've seen that before. H Monkey's Melon Shacks. You can buy melons in here. I really like the decorative melons in the corners. Looks really nice. Over here, we have an ice store, I'm assuming. Yes, it is. Who owns this? Is there a sign anywhere? No, there is not. I know this is Fluffy's. This is Fluffy's iron mob grinder. Iron golem grinder. We can get iron and buy stuff from it. I uh, like roses, iron, stuff like that that mod the iron golems up there drop. If you guys recognize this build, a lot of people use it, but also we had a similar build on Purge Season 1. So if you guys remember all the all back to that time, it was a long time ago. That is crazy. That's over a year ago now. We have Destroyed's Nether Shop here, which I really like the design of. We have Pyrus's Mesa Shop, so you can buy all the different Mesa clay blocks and things like that. Really cool. Oh, we got to pick these leather booties back up. And then that is how far it goes over here. And then there's one more section to spawn that we can go and run over and check out. Let's see, when are we going to get that speed? I believe in the speed. I'm the Flash. Come on, give me the speed. Give me speed. I'm going to go faster than the speed of light. There we are. Now we're moving. <laughs> Let's say I've been watching a lot of Flash recently, so it's kind of it's kind of been on my mind. The last portion of the spawn, we've over here. A lot of this stuff has been here for a long time. This is Pyrus's meat shop where you can buy meaty delicacies. We have the Garden of Wait. Garden of Nothing. <laughs> I'm assuming like the Garden of Eden or something, but it, it isn't named. Doesn't seem to be completely done yet. We got the enchantment table and this little fountain over there with the little uh, cobblestone pillar in the fountain. Looking good. Over here, we have Aplicity's nothing shop. I'm assuming armor stop. So, yeah, armor and shields and things like that. What does this button do? I don't know what it does. Maybe it's just there for decoration. Not sure. Looking nice. We have CM's Landscape and Terraform shop, which is where you can buy and pay CM to build things for you, which I might have him redo my house. I'm not sure. And then we have one of the biggest buildings to spawn and one of the newest... We have the Theta SMP fire station. I kind of want to become a firefighter here. I might talk to H Monkey and whoever else made this. I don't remember who. Okay, this, if this works. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. That is so cool. That is such a cool. And you can also just jump straight down here because, well, as long as you avoid that, but 
You can just, that is so sick. That's like my favorite part of the entire spawn. Oh my goodness gracious. You've got the sleeping quarters for the firemen. You've got a nice little magma cream here, some beds. All of good. I love the new door sounds in 1.9. Just drop down here. See, that anvil causes some trouble, but ultimately, and we can also go in the fire truck if we want to, and we can ring the bell. We can get out the side door here. It looks really nice. Spawn is just looking amazing. Like every, I am so happy that the server is looking so good. It's it's done so well over the past. How long has it been? Six months. The server's been alive. Half a year. It's really crazy. And yeah, if you guys are excited for more Theta SMP episodes in the coming weeks, let me know in the comments section down below. Uh, leave a like if you want to see a new episode tomorrow. Twenty likes, and we'll deliver it. It's got to be twenty likes before like. 2 p.m. tomorrow, so you've got about 24 hours to leave a like. Hope you all enjoyed, and as always, I've been Linky, and since I'm back now, we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Peace.